Lots of people will be in their cars and trucks tomorrow, and by lots, I mean hundreds of thousands. AAA estimates 556,000 Oregonians will drive somewhere for Thanksgiving. The most common destination, Central Oregon. And while the weather looks good for the trip over the passes, take a tip from the Boy Scouts and be prepared. Make sure you pack your chains, your emergency kit, make sure your car is filled up. You don't want to have that gas tank on empty. Likewise, if you have an electric vehicle, make sure it's fully charged. The worst time to be on the road Wednesday will be from 3 p.m. until 7 p.m. And Sunday afternoon coming home should be pretty busy too. Watch out especially for I-84 near Hood River, where it goes down to one lane in each direction. You may also notice gas prices are up by an average 40 cents a gallon over last year. Out at Portland's airport, things were busy today and should be even busier tomorrow. Louisa Davis-Sills flew back to Portland with no trouble today. No, it's been very pleasant. I fly Alaska, they're always perfect. And while there were lots of people at the airport, traffic getting there was not that bad either. The traffic was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I think everybody's heading out of town a little early. Perhaps, but the real push does happen tomorrow. PDX expects 63,000 people to pass through the terminal. It will be a new record for the day before Thanksgiving, but not a pure record. Several days during the summer have higher volume. Still, it means give yourself plenty of time. You really, really want to allow time. You don't want to miss your flight. Which also means everyone together now. Arrive early, at least two hours in advance for domestic flights, and we recommend three hours for international flights. And don't sweat the parking. Airport leaders say there will be plenty. Across the country, there'll be an estimated 51 million Americans traveling. Here's to hoping your travels are smooth and uneventful. Back to you. <laughs> That's nice to hear and a good thought, Pat. Thanks very much.